What's up? It's Ben Grooves. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three things that you should practice if you pick up your bass, especially, especially if you're a beginner. Very, 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 very important. Now, this video is going to be in part, I mean, series. I'll be doing part one, part two, part three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight. I don't know. But today, I'm focusing on three things. The first thing I'd like to talk about is tone. When you pick up your bass, you don't know what to practice. Practice tone. How do you practice tone? Tone is basically how you sound. Now, how can you sound good if you don't know how you sound? You need to know how you sound before you would tell, okay, I, I need to develop this tone. I need to improve on how I sound. So how do you know how you sound? It's by listening to yourself. It's very, very important. Like, it's so much important. When I started bass playing, I... I didn't like hearing myself. I don't know why. For some reason, I just... I don't know. I just didn't like hearing myself. But I was making a big mistake. You have to know how you sound. That is the only way you can improve upon the sound. Or your tone. It's very important. Now, you don't need um, a DAW. I mean, any recording software. You can just use your smartphone. Put it just close to your amp. Play and then hear yourself. Now, tone is in two parts. Or I mean, two ways basically for me. You need to know your instrument. You need to know your instrument. It's very, very important. You need to know where your EQs are. You need to know your balance, your volume, your bass. You need to know your trebles. You need to know all these things. And it has to be experimental. It's very important. It has to be experimental. You pick up the bass, play a particular note. You play something and then whilst you are playing it, you are trying to adjust the controls, the knobs, until you arrived at your desired, I mean, sound or something. So you need to know your instrument. You need to know where your balance is, where your EQs are. You need to know what this knob does. It's very important. <laughs> it's very important. Some of you, you just pick up the bass, you open volume and you are done. No, you have to experiment it. Pick up the bass, sit down. Open, let everything be at maybe 12 o'clock or maybe just kill everything. Then just open everything bit by bit. When you open one knob, play the bass and you have to be deliberate about it. Intentionally listen to the sound. When you play something and then you open the first knob, listen to how it sounds. When you play the second one, listen to how it sounds. When you play the third one, listen to how it sounds. You have to tweak, you have to be your own sound engineer when it comes to your instrument. You tweak the volumes, the knobs until you arrived at maybe what you want to hear. I cannot decide for you how you want to sound. That is one thing I cannot do for you. You, you know that we all know the difference between black and white, so you know how you want to sound so when you do all that on your bass and then you 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 are okay with the sound you are very satisfied you know oh, this sounds good mm, i like it then you come to your fingers the left and right they help in your tone a lot because if um you you have everything on your bass here and then your your dexterity is not good you, your, your your left hand cannot control the strings the board your right hand cannot control it's going to it will not amount to anything so you need to have a good balance between the EQs on your bass, your right hand, and your left hand. So you have to record yourself, listen to yourself, and you be your own judge. You hear the bass and you realize that, no, there were a lot of fret bars, there were a lot of string, I mean, making extra noise and all that. So you work on that. And one of the ways is to get a fret muter or a fret mute, fret trap, as you may, most of you like to call it. And this is from Groove Gear, amazing company doing great stuff. Groove Gear is one of the best companies when it comes to um, um, accessories for musicians. They are doing amazing job. Shout out to Groove Gear. Yeah, so they have these fret traps. You can get one of these amazing fret traps and it will clear all the fret noise and other string bars and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very important. So yeah, you need to hear yourself. It's so much important. You need to hear yourself and know that Okay, this is how I sound. I am okay with it. I don't like it. Then you can do something about it. So practicing tone is a whole thing we need to consider. It's very important. So like I said, you have to experiment all your controls on your bass. The first thing is knowing your instrument. Don't forget that. The first thing is knowing your instrument. You need to know the instrument. You need to know what each and every knobs, a knob here does. It's very important. You, you have to know it. Unless, of course, you, you don't want to. 
but i believe you want it so you have to know what every knob does and like i said you have to experiment you play a note did you hear that there's a change listen there's a change i'm sure you, you can hear that so i know what every knob does on my bass so you have to know that as well uh -huh. then you now develop your right hand if your you know your, your your left hand has to be very strong your left hand has to be strong that's why there are a lot of exercises for building dexterity in your your, your fingers you can't play a, um, a note and you hear that's with with the fret trap you, you hear that there, there was no any bars now let me take away the fret trap when you hear a lot of things uh, this sounds i mean this fret noise and all that in your recordings then you know you don't have a good tone so getting one of these can help you a lot but as a beginner you need to work on your natural tone first before you get any other thing you want to add to it it's very important so yes tone has to do with knowing your instrument and working on your dexterity your fingers your left and right hand there has to be a balance you cannot do this more than there has to be a balance yeah so the next thing i like to talk about is timing when you pick up your bass, what do you practice? You practice. You have to practice time. And these are things you cannot just do within a day or two and say, I am done. I don't know what to practice anymore. No. You have to practice time every time you pick the bass. Practice time with the metronome. It's so important. There are a lot of apps on the App Store and in the Play Store. So you can get one of them and practice with it. You have to practice time. Because you are going to play with a drummer who will keep you um, in time. So if you, you don't have a good timing... It's going to worry you a lot. The third thing I like to talk about is fishing out bass line. Now, when you're listening to a song, that one you can even do it without the bass guitar. When you're listening to any song on your phone, just pay much attention to the bass. Of course, if you're a bass player, if you're a keyboard player, pay a lot of attention to the keyboard. I'm a bass player, so I'm talking about bass. When you are listening to a song, you have to intentionally pay attention to the bass, not just hearing the bass line start to think about how the bass player constructed the bass line okay he played this and this this and that try to just imagine him you know doing what he's doing in your head it's very important so you practice you get used to all these things and it will help you be a very good bass player trust me so you need to have a good tone you need to practice timing and try to fish out bass lines even if you are at work or maybe you are school just Anytime you are listening to music, just give much attention to the bass line. It's very, very helpful. It, it will help you a lot. Like I said, some of these things, when you are doing it, you might not see improvement on the go. But as time goes on, there will be improvement. Yeah, so practice tone, practice timing, and try to fish out bass lines from songs. So that will be all for today. I mean, like I said, this particular video, what to practice. This is the first episode. I'll be doing another one. Another one, another one, another one. Without wasting, thank you so much for watching, and I believe I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, keep playing.